Okay, so, oops. I want you to start just out on your back. Take your hands and rest your fingers on the inside of your pelvis. This is our breathing exercise, right? This is where we focus on the activation of that pelvic floor expansion and contraction and getting the sensation of our hip bones, pubic bone, tailbone really opening and then closing. So just soften your eyes and take a deep breath in. And exhale. And as you inhale, get the sense that your pubic bone, tailbone, two hip bones are pulling away from each other. And you feel almost a, a pressure downwards as your pelvic floor expanding. And then as you get, as you exhale, you want to gather those pelvic floor muscles, draw pubic bone, tailbone, hip bones together, and then get the sense like you could lift those muscles up towards the belly button. Sorry for the cat just walking through there. So do that again. As you breathe, think breath into the pelvis, into the belly, into the ribs, into the throat. And then on your exhale, it's throat, ribs, belly, pelvis, continuing on that activation of the pelvic floor. So inhale, pelvic floor opens, diamond opens. Exhale, pelvic floor closes, diamond closes. So let's start to add that movement of your pelvis now. So on your inhale breath, you allow the tailbone to start to root towards the ground and a very little space will, will be sort of created in the lumbar spine. And then as you exhale, you pull the pubic bone to the sternum and you lengthen your low back into the mat. And then you inhale, you want to just feel that spine can sort of extending in your lumbar, in your lumbar spine. And imagine there's like a string on your pubic bone. And as you exhale, someone's just pulling that string up gently and you're feeling the abdominal muscles just start to, to, to gather inwards. So let's take our hands to our rib cage now and breathe in, feel the ribs open. And then exhale, allow the fingers to sort of slide together as you gather your lower front ribs. So feel that heaviness in your low back ribs into the mat. And again, inhale, we let the ribs open, the pelvis opens, tailbone to floor. Exhale, diamond contracts, tailbone rolls up, ribs hug in. Let's add the activation of our glutes into this now. So we take a breath, we open. Exhale, ribs in, pubic bone in. You start to squeeze your sitting bones. You roll up and it's like your knees are reaching away from you. So we really wanna feel the pelvis pulling this way and the sitting bones wrapping underneath as the knees reach away from you. Feel the connection into your big toes. And then as you exhale, round down through your back, but continue to pull your pelvis up towards your ribs. I like to like imagine like my pelvis is full of water. I take a breath in, I let my tailbone tip to the ground and then I scoop the water and exhale and I start to roll up and I'm trying to dump all of that water to the floor as I dump. So I'm trying to pull that pelvis to my rib cage. And then as I roll down, I continue to find this action of my pelvis, that posterior tilting, and then I release. Let's come up a little bit higher. Take a breath in. Exhale. We gather the ribs. We use the hamstrings, the glutes to lift. You keep those ribs connected, lifting up, feeling the knees reaching, squeezing through your butt. And then exhaling and rolling down vertebra by vertebra, letting that tailbone come to rest. One more time. Let's take a breath in. Pelvic floor opens. Exhale. We scoop. We lift. Press into those toes, squeeze your bum, and then we come all the way down. So let's keep that um, connection of the low back into the mat now, okay? So evenly weight the back of your pelvis, widen your collarbones, hands rest by your side. Let's turn the palms, but keep the collarbones open. We don't want to round the shoulders, okay? Pull them back. We'll take a breath in and exhale without pressing heavy into the left foot. Can you lift your right leg into tabletop without allowing your pelvis to shift? Notice it kind of wants to fall into that right side. And then exhale and lower. And so as your foot comes to the floor, it's like you're pulling your abdominal muscles up this way. 
to prevent the pelvis from moving with it. What we don't want to see is as the leg lifts, the pelvis moves, and as the leg comes down, the pelvis. Can you see that? Yeah, we don't want to be seeing that. So everything is staying nice and still. Okay, we do 10 of these. So we just come into the that lift of the leg. I actually, because my ribs splay a lot, I do like to do these exercises with my hands resting heavy in my ribs and I'm kind of gathering them together. You can also take, if you get that TheraBand, you can take your TheraBand and you can put it underneath you and you can actually cross it over you. So you're holding it in your hand and then as you exhale to lift the leg up, you pull the TheraBand tight. So you're, you're kind of cinching your ribs in and then you let that release once the foot comes to the floor, you breathe. And then exhale, you pull the TheraBand, you get the ribs heavy, try not to press heavy into the right foot as the left leg lifts. Notice if any tension arises in your neck or in your jaw, right, and try to keep that soft. It's very, it's very common for us to wanna to try to lift our foot from our neck. I don't know why your body does that, but try to just keep that softness in your neck. And you just go one foot and then the other side. Okay, once that feels good, and you won't have to do this exercise for too long. I mean, the fundamental core exercises I still do, I do them all the time. Whenever my back starts to feel sort of like it's a bit cranky, I will, I will hop on a mat and do some of these movements, but these are very fundamental. These are like the foundations, okay? So they're very, they, we, we won't have to do this forever, I promise you that. So let's get that band if you have it around you nice and tight. You can also use a scarf around here or like a, a towel. Um, and you can hold that there. If you don't have that, you just keep your hands on the ribs. This is just as good, okay? Let's take a breath in. We prepare in the inhale. We exhale. We float the right leg up. I like to pause here for a quick breath. And then exhale. This is hard work for me to get that left leg to lift. My ribs really want to lift, okay? So I pull that left leg up. I take a breath. I exhale right leg down. And then I exhale left leg down. And then I take a breath. Exhale, left leg, and then I take my right leg up on that exhale. You can take another exhale, and then my left leg comes down, and then my right. We'll do, we'll go for 10, okay? So that was two. It's very challenging for me to pick my left leg up, very hard, without losing my ribs. So it just goes to show, like, you can have a pretty strong core, like my core is pretty strong, but still have a lot of weaknesses in your core. So don't, don't worry if this is really challenge, challenging for you. It's actually a good thing if it's challenging. You also want to watch the lower belly. So as you're lifting your leg up, you want to make sure that you're not allowing the lower belly to pooch out. So getting a sense like you're trying to do up a really tight pair of pants as you take your legs up and then lower them down. And then as you take that left leg down, you want to really pull the tummy in. And then we'll take the left leg up. So it's like buttoning up the pants, pulling those ribs in. Use your exhale breath. Pause for an inhale and then exhale. Let's just do one more each side. Softening the neck, the shoulders, making sure your low back ribs are heavy into the mat, your lumbar spine's heavy. Exhale, right leg down and then left leg down. Let's do one more time. Exhale. Remember that action of the sort of the ribs and the hip bones and not moving away from each other. So there you go. So those are your leg lift exercises. So do 10 of the marches. Do start with 10. Well, let's start with five baby bridges, five big bridges. And then when those baby bridges feel like they're not doing anything for you anymore, then just go right into the big, the big bridges and do 10 of those. And then eventually, like maybe next week, we'll add some marching up in the big bridge. Okay, and then do... Um, those core, the, the leg lifts, just do five aside. So 10 total, focusing on not allowing your pelvis to shift from right to left, left to right. And then do the ones where you come up, up, down, down. Now, Georgia, if you're feeling up to it, if you're like, okay, that feels pretty good, then you can take both of your legs in tabletop and you can tap one toe down to the max and then lift. And then the other, you can hear the cat again. Sorry about that. So this is a little bit harder here. So as you tap your toe down, you wanna make sure that your pelvis isn't following. Okay, so keeping your pelvis pressed in. And if it's too challenging with the legs up in tabletop, you can bring your heels down here and just do little taps like this. Okay, like you're dipping your toes into cold pool of water. Only go on this exercise as far as your ribs and your pelvis stay, stay stable. So if you notice you get to here and you're like, okay, I can't maintain that anymore. 
then only go to there. And it does help if you squeeze your bum. So if you like physically squeeze your bum as you practice type your toe down, you're gonna notice it's a little bit easier. So you can add that in. Let's say maybe like Wednesday, you can try that or Thursday. So then we'll go into our heel slide. So I'm not on a slippery mat. It's gonna look a little bit funny, but we just take one leg and we slide it out. And then we pull that leg in, right? Keeping it on the floor. And then the other leg. This is the one you want that towel underneath your back. So I'm just gonna get up. I'm gonna move off of my mat so I can actually slide. You take that towel, right? And you place it just right where your, your lumbar spine is. Okay, and you press into that. So you wanna feel the abdominal muscles like they have that tight button around them, that tight band. Again, you can use a band and actually wrap it around your tummy. It's really good feedback. And so we, we, we press the ribs into the ground and we slide the right leg out. Notice that the hip flexors are really tight. It will lift your pelvis up and off of the towel. So keep your pelvis pressed in or your back pressed in and then only go as far as you can maintain that push. And what you'll notice is as you extend your leg out, you have to press in a little bit more into the, into the towel. So you have to gather the abdominals. It's that sensation of the ribs hugging in, the low back, the low back ribs getting heavy into the mat, the low back getting heavy into the towel. So there's your first step of the heel slides. So you, this is a kind of a take on a dead bug, right? And we go into right arm, left leg. So we add that lift of the, the extension of the arm and you'll do 10 of those, five on each side. And then we hold the arms up. We just slide the legs out. This is pretty challenging. So again, only go as far as you can go. And the work really comes as we pull those legs back in. So imagine it's like your abdominal muscles are doing the work. They're the ones pulling the legs in. Oh, that's challenging. So we'll probably just do five of those. You'll take a rest and then you'll add the arms for five. Reaching back and then pulling up and in. Okay. So I say um, practice, start with that, and uh, do that twice a day, maybe morning and nights, or sort of whenever you have time in between feeds. And then um, we'll modify things for you on Thursday for Pilates, and then we can see you again on Monday and continue to build, okay? Uh, text me, call me if you have any questions on what we did. I'm happy to help, okay? Great to see you today. Have a good rest of your Monday. Bye.